Hey, what's up guys? Legal Bro here. I was watching The Wolf of Wall Street this weekend and I wanted to figure out what are these hooligans up to to this day. Let's take a look. So for those of you that have been living under a rock for most of your life, The Wolf of Wall Street is a rags to riches to rags well, to riches again, story about Jordan Belfort and how he scammed and conned all of these hardworking people. A lot of blue collar workers, a lot of middle class families. Jordan Belfort was convicted of securities fraud and money laundering in 1999. What was Jordan doing? Jordan is taking from hardworking Americans and giving it to himself and was sentenced to four years in prison. His restitution, 110 million. Jesus Christ. I'd love to see 23 years later how much of a dent he's made in that. Yikes. The reality is, while Jordan was buying all of these fancy cars, houses, quaaludes, whatever else he's buying, all of the victims that he was scamming are entrusting their life savings and their livelihood with Jordan. And it's absolutely one of the most disgusting stories that you will hear. Even though it's glamorized and made into this hilarious movie, it is important to know, like, hey, these are real people that got screwed over. Who do we got next? Probably one of the most famous characters from the book. I'm not stupid. I'm Donnie Azoff. Donnie Azoff portrays Danny Porish, also known as Jonah Hill in Wolf of Wall Street. Apparently, in real life, he did marry his cousin. No judgment here. As we all know, Danny was also part of this scheme, right? He was actually ordered to pay $109 million in restitution and he was sentenced to 39 months in federal prison. Similar charges, securities fraud, and money laundering. Next up, we have Andrew Green, aka Andrew Kasperson, convicted of securities fraud and wire fraud in 2016, sentenced to 16 years in prison, and ordered to pay just over 38 million in restitution to his victims. Now, we do have some other characters, right, that are basically made from the script. The easiest one to think of is a guy like Sea Otter, right? He's not a real person. Sea Otter's just background noise. If he was, he probably would have fled to Mexico, maybe drinking Mai Tais. We don't know what would have happened to Sea Otter, but all we know is Sea Otter's not a real character. And as it turns out, Jordan Belfort's second wife, right? The model, the duchess. It turns out that she was never convicted of any wrongdoing or anything like that. And it looks like the same way it was portrayed in the movie. Once Jordan started down the line of a federal investigation, it looks like those two might have cut ties. Again, I want to make this loud and clear. I do not condone The Wolf of Wall Street. It's a funny movie, but the sad reality is the victims hurt in that movie lost their life savings and lost their livelihood. I represent people like them, not the people like the Wolf of Wall Street characters or Stratton Oakmont. If it's too good to be true, it likely is... Legal Bro here for our consumers and Americans just like you and me. Give us a comment below if you want to see a different video, if you want to see us talk more about Wolf of Wall Street. I was thinking about maybe pulling some stuff on Stratton Oakmont. Maybe we'll see. Like and subscribe below. See you soon.